Philosophies Revived. Imagine life as a grand tapestry, woven with threads of choices, experiences, and the people we encounter along the way. Each interaction, each relationship, is a unique thread contributing to the fabric of our existence. Some threads enrich the tapestry, adding depth and vibrancy, while others threaten to fray the edges, causing dissonance and discord. Today, we embark on a journey through the lens of Stoicism, a timeless philosophy that provides invaluable guidance on how to navigate the intricate web of human connections. Stoicism, a school of thought founded in ancient Greece, champions the pursuit of wisdom, resilience, and virtue. It teaches us to cultivate a calm and balanced mind, to embrace challenges, and to live in harmony with the natural order of the universe. At the core of Stoicism lies the understanding that our well-being and growth are profoundly influenced by the people we surround ourselves with. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Epictetus, the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. You've likely heard the saying that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Today, we will explore this idea through the Stoic perspective, delving into the seven types of individuals that Stoicism warns us about people who, if left unexamined, can derail our progress on the path to Stoic wisdom. So, let's journey through the wisdom of Stoicism and uncover how to navigate these challenging relationships to ensure that the threads in the tapestry of our lives weave a harmonious and inspiring narrative. Remember, as we explore these seven types of individuals, it's essential to maintain an inspiring and empowering tone, one that encourages introspection and personal growth. One, choose your company wisely. In the vast tapestry of life, the people we surround ourselves with are like the vibrant threads that either enrich or threaten to fray the edges of our existence. The Stoic philosophy, with its roots in ancient Greece, emphasizes the importance of the company we keep. It reminds us, in the words of Epictetus, to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. The first type of person Stoicism warns us about is the complainer. We've all encountered them that friend, family member, or co-worker who seems to have a knack for finding fault in everything. They can transform the most beautiful day into a storm of complaints about the weather, their job, or even the food at a popular restaurant. You might think, why should this concern me? I can just ignore them. However, the reality is that consistent exposure to such negativity can have a profound impact on your mental well-being. In the Stoic framework, the solution to dealing with a complainer is not just about avoidance, but also about adopting a mindset that preserves your inner peace. One effective strategy is to limit your exposure to this individual whenever possible. If that's not feasible, perhaps because they're a family member or colleague, your second option is to mentally distance yourself during their diatribes. Think of their complaints as a passing storm, loud and unsettling, but ultimately temporary and powerless against the unmovable mountain that is your own inner tranquility. Another stoic approach is to steer the conversation towards solutions. Rather than indulging in a cycle of complaints, try to guide the complainer toward more constructive dialogue. The stoic Marcus Aurelius wisely advised, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This timeless wisdom encourages us to guard our mental peace diligently, ensuring that the negativity from chronic complainers doesn't divert us from our stoic path of resilience and virtue. In essence, stoicism teaches us that while we may not have control over the world around us, we have control over how we react to it. By choosing to focus on actionable solutions and maintaining our inner tranquility, we can effectively navigate the challenging presence of chronic complainers and continue our journey towards personal growth and tranquility. To guard your mental peace. In the intricate tapestry of life, the people we choose to surround ourselves with are the threads that either enhance the vibrancy of our existence 
or threaten to unravel the edges of our well-being. Stoicism, a philosophy rooted in ancient Greece, underlines the profound influence that our companions have on our journey. As Epictetus wisely advised, the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. The second type of individual that Stoicism cautions us against is the drama magnet. These individuals possess an uncanny ability to draw us into the whirlpools of their never-ending crises, transforming our lives into turbulent waters. Initially, their energy might seem alluring, resembling passion or excitement, but in time, we discover that being in their orbit feels like navigating a ship through a storm exhausting and perilous. Dealing with drama magnets is a matter of setting boundaries and employing techniques to maintain your mental peace. Boundaries are crucial, and one effective strategy is the use of the Pomodoro Technique, a time management method that involves breaking your work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes each, separated by short breaks. During these intervals, you make it clear that you are not to be disturbed. This practice safeguards your most productive times from being eroded. Reflective listening is another technique to employ when dealing with drama magnets. Instead of offering unsolicited advice or taking sides in their melodramas, you can mirror their words back to them. For example, if they complain about a colleague's behavior, you might respond with, so you're feeling frustrated by your colleague's actions. This technique enables you to provide emotional support without becoming ensnared in the drama. Furthermore, it is crucial to be selectively unavailable during specific times. Create focus periods in your day where you can concentrate solely on your work or personal development and make it known that you are not to be disturbed during these times. In essence, this approach allows you to concentrate on the present moment where you have control and not become disrupted by someone else's drama. As Seneca wisely noted, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. By resisting the urge to become entangled in the dramatic whirlpools created by these individuals and concentrating on the present, you can navigate your life with calmness, staying true to your stoic path towards personal growth and tranquility. So make it a point to sail your ship calmly, steering clear of the whirlpools that threaten your voyage towards personal development and peace. 3. Acknowledge Emotions and Solutions As we continue our journey through the landscape of Stoic wisdom, we encounter the third type of individual that Stoicism warns us about the naysayer. These are the people who persistently cast doubt on our endeavors, questioning our dreams and goals. They can undermine our confidence and create an atmosphere of negativity. The Stoic approach to dealing with naysayers emphasizes the importance of differentiating between constructive criticism and relentless negativity. It's not about ignoring valuable feedback, but rather about recognizing when skepticism crosses the line into unproductive cynicism. One unconventional yet effective method for dealing with naysayers is to ask for their advice instead of merely sharing your aspirations. By positioning them as advisors rather than adversaries, you can often elicit more constructive feedback. This approach helps to depersonalize the criticism and encourages a more constructive form of conversation. Another technique to employ is positive confrontation. Instead of absorbing their negativity, challenge them to think of solutions. When they say, you'll never be able to switch careers at this stage, you can counter with an interesting perspective. How do you think someone could successfully make a career change? This not only deflects the negativity, but also encourages a more constructive dialogue. It's essential to remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who wisely said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. When confronted with naysayers, remember that listening doesn't mean absorbing everyone's negativity. It means discerning valuable input from mere noise. In the grand tapestry of life, the naysayers are but a small part of the intricate design. Their doubts, like dark threads, may attempt to weave their way into your narrative. But as you encounter these individuals, 
Remind yourself that it's not about completely silencing them or shutting out all forms of criticism. It's about embracing the Stoic philosophy, which teaches us to focus on actionable solutions rather than getting lost in negativity. By acknowledging emotions and seeking productive solutions, you can navigate the challenging presence of naysayers while staying true to your stoic path of growth and resilience. Remember that, just like the threads in a tapestry, naysayers are but one element in the intricate fabric of your journey. Your canvas is vast, and you have the power to choose which colors and patterns to weave into your life's narrative. 4. Compassionate Detachment In the rich tapestry of life, our interactions with others are like threads weaving through the fabric of our existence. The Stoic philosophy, rooted in ancient Greece, teaches us that these threads can either enrich our lives or threaten to fray the edges of our well-being. Among these threads, there's a type of individual that Stoicism warns us about the victim. Victims are those who perpetually attribute their predicaments to external forces, refusing to take responsibility for their actions or inactions. Their narrative is one of unending woe, where they cast themselves as the helpless protagonist, beset by circumstances beyond their control. While it's essential to show empathy and kindness towards those facing genuine hardships or systemic issues, the victim we're discussing uses their predicament as a permanent excuse, refusing to take any responsibility for their actions. This can be emotionally draining and even lead you to adopt a similar victim mindset in your own life. The stoic approach to dealing with the victim is not to become their savior or perpetual problem solver. Instead, it involves drawing firm boundaries while showing compassion. This strategy is known as compassionate detachment. Compassionate detachment entails showing empathy and kindness without constantly rescuing victims from situations they need to navigate themselves. It means offering a listening ear, expressing understanding, but refraining from taking on the role of their perpetual problem solver. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once warned us, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. In the context of the victim, this wisdom reminds us that we can't control their choices or actions, but we can choose how we respond to their perpetual narrative of woe. The victim's storyline may seek to draw you in, tempting you to become the supporting character who perpetually rescues them. But the Stoic path encourages you to take control of your own narrative. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. In the grand tapestry of life, you have the agency to shape your own narrative. You are not merely a character in someone else's story. By practicing compassionate detachment, you can offer support without becoming enmeshed in the victim's perpetual drama. This approach allows you to navigate your own narrative with resilience and wisdom, avoiding the pitfalls of perpetual victimhood. Remember, in the chess game of life, being perpetually in checkmate is often a choice, not a fate. Embrace your agency, make strategic sacrifices when necessary, and play for growth and wisdom rather than becoming ensnared in a never-ending cycle of helplessness. Your life's narrative is yours to craft, guided by your own values and decisions. 5. Embrace emotional complexity. In the intricate tapestry of life, our interactions with others play a crucial role in shaping our journey. Stoicism, a philosophy rooted in ancient Greece, highlights the importance of surrounding ourselves with individuals who uplift us. As Epictetus aptly puts it, we should keep company only with those whose presence calls forth our best. The Stoic philosophy also offers valuable guidance on how to navigate relationships with different types of individuals. One such type is the toxic positivist. Toxic positivists are individuals who always project an aura of relentless optimism seemingly dismissive of negative emotions or challenging circumstances. They might be quick to offer generic, cheerful advice when you're going through difficult times, often invalidating your feelings and experiences. These individuals, while well-intentioned, 
can make you feel as though you're not allowed to acknowledge or process your own emotional complexity. Stoicism encourages us to embrace the full spectrum of human emotions. Rather than dismissing negative feelings, it teaches us to acknowledge and process them. In essence, Stoicism encourages emotional granularity, the ability to recognize and differentiate between a wide range of emotions, both positive and negative. When confronted with a toxic positivist, it's important to engage in a balanced discussion that embraces both light and shadow. Instead of entirely rejecting their positivity or succumbing to it, you can advocate for a more nuanced perspective. For instance, if a toxic positivist advises you to just be happy in the face of adversity, you can respond by acknowledging your emotions, saying, I appreciate the positivity, but it's also essential for me to process my current feelings. This approach, in line with Stoic principles, recognizes the complexity of human emotions and allows you to maintain a healthy emotional balance. It aligns with the idea that Stoicism is not about focusing solely on the positive or the negative, but about embracing life's complexity with equanimity. The Stoic philosopher Seneca highlighted the importance of enjoying the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This concept reminds us that true happiness isn't about denying negative emotions, but about understanding our duties toward ourselves and others enjoying the present moment while acknowledging life's inevitable challenges. 6. Set clear boundaries The sixth type of person to be cautious of is the manipulator. These individuals skillfully rewrite the script of your life to benefit themselves. Counteracting their tactics may involve using techniques like fogging, agreeing with any truth in their statements, while refusing to be moved by emotional coercion. Setting clear boundaries is also crucial when dealing with manipulators. Learn to say no assertively and keep your tone calm and clear. By responding differently to their manipulative tactics, you regain control of your life's narrative, following the wisdom of Epictetus, who taught us that while we cannot choose our external circumstances, we can always choose how we respond to them. 7. Respect your time. The seventh and final type of individual that Stoicism warns us about is the time vampire. These individuals disrupt your daily routine and drain your time and energy with trivial matters or endless social obligations. To protect your time, the Pomodoro technique can be employed, creating intervals where you make it clear that you're not to be disturbed. When dealing with a social time vampire, remember that saying no is not just okay, it's essential for your well-being. A simple decline with gratitude suffices, and it's not a rejection of the person, but an affirmation of your own needs and priorities. As Seneca wisely noted, life, if well-lived, is long enough. Stoicism teaches us that time is one of our most precious resources, and we should allocate it wisely, conducting our lives with purpose, to ensure that every moment is a note well played in our harmonious masterpiece. The philosophy of Stoicism provides us with invaluable guidance on navigating the complex web of human connections. By recognizing and managing the seven types of individual Stoicism warns us about, we can better cultivate wisdom, resilience and virtue in our lives. Remember that Stoicism is not just about dealing with the world, but also understanding and improving ourselves. Self-awareness is the key to personal growth and a life well lived. As we explore these seven types of individuals, take a moment to introspect and consider whether you inadvertently play any of these roles in someone else's life. So, as you weave the tapestry of your existence, may your choices align with your virtues, may your actions reflect your wisdom, and may your life be the masterpiece you are meant to create. In the grand composition of your life, make sure each note, each instrument, and each melody aligns with your greater purpose. The power to shape your narrative is within your hands.